Hello, dear students. How are you? In the previous equation, we studied few concept of the vector equation of the line, and this is part two in continuation of the vector equation of the line. In the last video, we studied the concept of uh, parallel lines, intersecting line, and various forms of the equation of the line. One was vector, one was parametric, and one was Cartesian. So today we will start from skew lines. We know that lines which are not parallel may or may not meet. The lines which are not parallel and to do not meet are said to be skew lines. In this video, I have tried to write down everything beside I am explaining so that people feel comfortable writing it down if they want to. Uh, so let's take an example of two, two lines here which are in front of you right now R1 and R2. Now we will see that they are parallel or not parallel, they are intersecting, not intersecting or they are skew lines. We will see the condition. Now if you look at the directions, directions are not multiple of each other which means line are, lines are not parallel. Now we will see either they are intersecting or not. If they are intersecting then R1 is equals to R2 and we will able to solve that they are equating each other and equal to each other. So let's write down the points here. R1 in the form of x, y, z the point and R2 in the form of x, y and z here which we have understood in the previous case. Now we will pick up any two equations either these two or these two any two and solve it simultaneously. So, and after that we will plug it in the third one. So I have picked up these two equations, solved simultaneously and substituted in the third one. Now answer is coming 5 equals to 0, which is not true. It means lines are not intersecting. If answer is same for both here and here, it means lines are intersecting. So now we have shown that lines are not intersecting. Next concept, angle between two lines. Now let's see these two lines here. When we find the angle between two lines, we apply the concept of dot or scalar product and it is applied on the directions of the line. Now we have seen in or we have studied in previous year and we are seeing it here again. Then when we have to find the angle between two vectors, we apply dot product or scalar product which is like this. So now in A and B vectors, I am writing these directions and applying in the formula and find out the angle. So angle is equals to 16.8 acute and 163.2. At times it is asked in the exam to mention the angle in the acute form or otherwise you for the safe side mention in both the form acute and obtuse. Now the last concept which we will study in the concept of vector and line, vector equation of a line is shortest distance from a point to a line and shortest distance we all know is a perpendicular distance. Here I have taken an example. For example the point is this and the line is this. Shortest distance means I have to find out this distance. So I am giving um, a name to the point which will be perpendicular to it is P. Now we know if I have, we have to find out the shortest distance between a point and a line, then we have to find the magnitude of PQ. Now to find the magnitude of PQ or QP, we know that it is equals to OP minus OQ. Now to find out OP minus OQ, OP is representing any general point on the line. So if I write it like 2 plus lambda minus 1 plus lambda, it will give me any general point on the line. Hence, here I am writing the same point in terms of lambda. And OQ is given to us in the question. So after getting OP minus OQ, this is my vector QP. Now, I cannot take the magnitude of this vector at the moment because there is an unknown which is lambda. So how will I find out the value of this lambda? We will see the concept. The line QP is perpendicular to this line. It means this direction 
and this direction is perpendicular. So the perpendicular dot product of perpendicular vector is always equals to 0. So here we will apply this concept and to find out the lambda I will take the dot product of QP with the direction of the line and it is equals to 0 so it will help me to form an equation of the line and I will get the value of lambda. So value of lambda is coming to which I will plug in here to get the vector QP or if I will plug it here I will get the point OP position vector of P. So let's see. So now here I am substituting the value of lambda in QP and my vector QP is 2 1 3 if I take its magnitude it will give me the shortest distance from a point to a line whereas if I substitute the value of lambda to OP which is this I will get the position vector of P so at times question asks find the position vector of P which is also called the foot of the perpendicular and sometime it asks you to find the shortest distance so you know how to find it out let's see one more another example and then we will start lines in the uh, planes in the next video now for example a line is given to you and it is told to you that line is cutting the xy plane find out the point of intersection of the line and the plane now the concept here I'm giving you a second or two second or three second to think what you will do okay time over you don't have to work out but you just have to think about it right so the point here is on the xy plane the z coordinate of a point will be zero yes or no the z coordinate of the point will be zero so if i write down this point in the form of xyz like 2 plus lambda minus 3 minus lambda 2 plus 4 lambda so if i write it like this it means the z coordinate this one must be equals to 0 why because on the xy plane z coordinate is 0 so when I will put it equals to 0 my lambda will be minus half so if I substitute this lambda then the point I will get is this so this is the point I'm getting the point of intersection right thank you let's meet in the next video to understand plane.